everyone welcome to easy english class the purpose of this video is just to make english language easy for my global uh, viewers in the 21st century the global economy english language is key okay uh, to success according to the world economic forum that our ability to really communicate and to communicate effectively will determine okay our success in the ever increasing global economy of the 21st century and looking at me i am not a native english language speaker but today i have written published six books in fact my second book was published in the united states so if I can do it, I strongly believe that my global audience should be able to really do do the same or even do better. So today's topic is extremely important. It is about the model aux, model auxiliary verbs. But before I go into today's topic, please, I want to really advise you, okay, to get different English lang language textbooks. You read them. And put okay whatever insights and ideas that you've got in, into practice. Look for somebody that you're going to be really conversing with. And if you don't have such, you can do what I call uh, the model, the the mirror modeling. It has to do with standing before the mirror and trying to speak it as if you're engaging with an invisible uh, partner. So let's go back to to this topic. Today's topic is just simply English model verbs. Okay, we're going to be looking at could have, okay, may have, and might have. These are modal verbs. The correct use or the usages of these particles of English language will go a long way, okay, to enhance your English language competency. So please come along with me while I take you to the whiteboard for explicit explanation. Okay, Mary. Mary could have closed the door herself before leaving the office. The use of this could have, could have is, is one of the modal auxiliary verbs uh, that shows capability, the ability to do something. So Mary could have closed the door before leaving. She did it. That we're suspecting that there's a strong possibility that Mary could have. She has carried out the action itself. Then the second one is, John could have come to the office earlier if not for his code. That he is known for punctuality, but he could not be in the office or beat every individual to the office that morning because he had contracted code. Contracted code, sorry. Then the third use of could have is, she and I could have done the presentation better than the manager that she and i could have we, we could have done the presentation that the manager gave a kind of an average presentation but the everyone in the office knows that she and i could have done something better then may have okay may have is about when you're not too sure of something it is actually used for lack of a, is it uncert, or uncertainty then let us actually use them in sentences because that is the most important thing she may have okay she may have completed okay she may have completed the cleaning before okay the uh, yes the cleaning before we get home okay before we get home okay she because she, I suspect that my sister, okay, she may have completed the sweeping of the house. She may have completed the washing of the clothes. She may have completed the cleaning okay, of the room or of, of the living, living room before we get home. Then the next one is, my brother may have slept by 8 p.m. That one thing I've discovered about him is that he's an, uh, an individual that goes to bed very early. So I suspect that even tonight, that my brother may have gone to bed, okay, tonight, by 8 p.m. Then the next one is, they may have eaten before going to bed. I just observed that I've been to the office for some hours. 
So um, I, I believe that my children, they may have, okay, they may, may have eaten before going into bed. Because I've called my maid, and my, my maid told me that they are no longer in the maybe living room watching Netflix. And let's look at the other ones. Okay, might have. Might have actually shows maybe stronger possibility of something happening. And let's, the most important thing is how do we use them in both spoken and in written English language. So he might have finished reading the novel by, by now. One thing I discovered about Miriam, or one thing I've observed about Musa, is that he is, that both of them are voracious novel readers. So I strongly be, believe that Musa, okay, that Musa or Miriam might have finished reading the novel by now. Then let me, he might have got there had we left, okay, we might have got there, okay, had we left earlier. We did not leave earlier, okay, and we missed the train. So we might have got there, okay, if we had left home earlier okay then the next one finally is the cat might have drunk the milk we gave it yesterday that our cat might have finished drinking the milk that we gave it yesterday before traveling that the the dog uh, might have eaten the bone that we gave it yesterday so th these are simple sentences that is why i call my video easy english language lesson it is not difficult so thank you so much for your time please i'm going to really implore you to one share this video to drop a comment then three if you have any questions make sure that you you, you drop them i'm going to really re respond to your question your question or questions then another point is this i've released my own course too if you know you're interested please just drop me a, a comment and then finally there's something I just want to really uh, tell my global viewers. I now have what I call this Dell. It is daily English lesson on WhatsApp. The group is just growing. I think by now, when I, when I actually checked this morning, I now have more than 500 of people all over the world, from Peru to Indonesia to Mozambique, okay, to um, Cameroon, to people... Afghanistan and other places who are learning English for free. I'm going to really beseech you. I'm going to really implore you to drop a comment and include your number. I will check it and, and add you to that platform so that you can learn English for free. Thank you so much and I shall see you in the next video.